The human brain. Three pounds of wrinkled, squishy matter. Doesn't look like much, does it? But don't let its seemingly humble appearance fool you. This, my friends, is the most complex object we know of in the universe. More complex than a star. More intricate than a galaxy. And it's the command center for everything you do, everything you feel, everything you are. But here's the thing about the brain. It's also incredibly mysterious. For all its processing power, for all the scientific advances we've made, there's still so much we don't know about it. It's like we've only just begun to scratch the surface of its vast potential. Over the next few minutes, we're going to journey into the inner cosmos of your own mind. We'll explore some of the brain's most fascinating secrets, from bizarre mental glitches to hidden powers you never knew you had. Get ready to have your mind blown, because some of these facts are so incredible, you might just start questioning everything you thought you knew about yourself. We live in an age of information overload. Every day we're bombarded with an endless stream of data, facts, and figures. You might think your brain diligently stores it all away like some cosmic hard drive with infinite capacity, but that's not quite how it works. The truth is, your brain is actually quite the efficient editor. It's not interested in hoarding every stray bit of information. Instead, it's constantly evaluating what's important, what's useful, and what can be safely discarded. This process is called synaptic pruning, and it's essentially your brain's way of decluttering. Imagine a gardener meticulously trimming away dead leaves and branches, allowing the healthy parts of the plant to flourish. That's what your brain is doing with your memories and neural connections. It's clearing out the clutter, making space for new growth and learning. Have you ever been walking down the street, minding your own business, when suddenly, you feel a prickling sensation on the back of your neck? You turn around, and sure enough, there's someone staring right at you. Creepy, right? Well, it turns out this phenomenon might be more than just a spooky coincidence. Some scientists believe it's evidence of a subtle sixth sense, a subconscious awareness of our surroundings that goes beyond our five basic senses. Think about it. For most of human history, being able to detect a predator, or even just another person lurking nearby was crucial for survival. It's possible that this ancient ability is still hardwired into our brains, even if we're not consciously aware of it. So, how does it work? One theory is that we're picking up on subtle cues in our environment, like micro-movements, changes in heat, or even shifts in someone's gaze. Our brain processes this information instantly, triggering a feeling of unease or alertness. We humans like to think of ourselves as complete beings, but what if I told you that you, right now, are different than you were yesterday? And I don't just mean in your experiences, though those are important too. I'm talking about the physical structure of your brain. Every single day, your brain forms new connections between its neurons, the building blocks of thought and memory. This process, called neuroplasticity, means your brain is constantly adapting and rewiring itself based on everything you do, see, think, and experience. It's like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger and more flexible it becomes. Think about that for a second. Your brain isn't static, it's a dynamic, ever-changing organ that's shaped by your interaction with the world. This has profound implications. It means that even as we age, we can continue to learn new skills, form new memories, and even recover from brain injuries. So don't underestimate the power of your own mind. It's constantly evolving, and with the right stimulation, you can push it to achieve amazing things. So we know the brain is constantly rewiring itself, but did you know you can actually hack this process to learn faster? That's right, by understanding how your brain works, you can optimize your learning environment and boost your memory. One of the most effective ways to do this is through music. Studies have shown that certain types of music, like Baroque music with a tempo of 60 beats per minute, can actually put your brain into a state of heightened focus and concentration. It's like giving your brain the perfect background music for learning. And it's not just music. Sense can also play a powerful role in enhancing memory and learning. The olfactory bulb, the part of your brain that processes smells, is directly connected to the hippocampus and amygdala, regions crucial for memory and emotion. So using scents like rosemary or peppermint while you study can actually help you retain information better. So, next time you sit down to hit the books, remember you're not just passively absorbing information, you're actively shaping your brain. And with a few simple tricks, you can turn that process into a high-speed learning machine.
We tend to think of our brains as objective observers, recording reality with perfect accuracy. But the truth is, your brain is a master storyteller, constantly weaving narratives and filling in gaps in your perception. And sometimes, those stories, well, they're not entirely accurate. Consider optical illusions. They trick your brain into seeing things that aren't really there, exposing the flaws in our visual processing, or the Mandela effect, where large groups of people share a false memory. These phenomena highlight that memory is not a perfect recording, but a reconstruction, vulnerable to errors and distortions. Why does our brain do this? It's not trying to deceive us intentionally. In fact, these little white lies often serve a purpose, helping us make sense of the world, make quick decisions, and maintain a sense of continuity in our experiences. But it's crucial to remember that our perception of reality is filtered through the lens of our brain, a lens that can be surprisingly subjective. So the next time you question a memory or doubt your senses, remember, your brain might be telling you a story and it might not be the whole truth. Stick around because in secret number seven, we're going to reveal a mind hack that lets you take back control. Friends, have you ever driven home, maybe after a long day of pondering the cosmos, and suddenly realized you remember almost nothing about the journey? It's like your brain was on autopilot, right? Well, buckle up, because that's not a metaphor, that's neuroscience. You see, the human brain, this incredible three-pound universe we carry in our skulls, is capable of performing complex actions with minimal conscious thought. It's like a subconscious superhighway, directing traffic and making decisions while you're busy thinking about, well, other things. Think about it. Walking, talking, even driving to a familiar place. These are actions that require a symphony of neural activity. Yet we rarely need to actively think about each step. Our brain develops these intricate pathways, these neural superhighways, through repetition and practice. And just like a well-maintained highway, these neural connections allow information to flow effortlessly, freeing up our conscious mind to contemplate more, shall we say, cosmic matters. We've all been there, feeling down, maybe a little lost in the cosmic void. But what if I told you that you have the power to literally rewire your mood? No, it's not science fiction, it's the incredible science of neuroplasticity. Here's the mind-blowing part. Even faking a smile can trigger a cascade of neurochemical events that actually make you feel happier. You see, our brains don't always know the difference between a genuine smile and a well-timed smirk. When you smile, your facial muscles send signals to your brain, activating the release of endorphins and dopamine, those feel-good chemicals that elevate your mood and reduce stress. It's a feedback loop, my friends. Smile, release happy chemicals, feel happier, smile more. So, the next time you're feeling down, try it. Crack a smile even if you don't feel like it. You might be surprised at how quickly your brain catches up and starts believing its own act. The human brain, that three-pound marvel of evolution, is constantly striving to make sense of the world, to predict the future, to keep us one step ahead, but what if I told you that your brain already knows what you're going to do before you do it? Now, I'm not talking about some mystical precognitive ability. I'm talking about hard science, about the electrical impulses and neural pathways that govern our every thought and action. Scientists have discovered that microseconds before you consciously make a decision, your brain has already made up its mind. Using brain imaging techniques, researchers can observe activity in the premotor cortex the area of the brain responsible for planning movements, moments before a person is even aware of their decision. It's like watching the future unfold in real time, at the level of neurons and synapses. This incredible predictive power highlights the subconscious machinery constantly at work beneath the surface of our awareness, shaping our choices and actions in ways we are only beginning to understand. It's enough to make you question the very nature of free will, wouldn't you say? We humans, we like to think we're so special, with our big brains and complex thoughts. But what if I told you that you have a second brain, right there in your gut? And not just any brain, but one with over 100 million neurons. That's right, folks. More neurons than you'll find in the brain of a cat. This second brain, scientifically known as the enteric nervous system, isn't pondering the mysteries of the universe or composing symphonies, but it's busy keeping you alive and kicking. It's controlling digestion, regulating blood flow, and even communicating with your immune system. And yes, 
It talks to your big brain up top, sending signals that influence your mood, your stress levels, even your decision making. So the next time you get a gut feeling, don't dismiss it. It might just be your second brain trying to tell you something. After all, it's been evolving for millions of years, and it probably knows a thing or two about survival. We often think of our memories as recordings neatly filed away in the vast library of our minds ready to be replayed at a moment's notice, but the truth is, our memories are far more fluid, more susceptible to change than we might like to believe. Imagine if you will that your memories are not like videos but rather like a jigsaw puzzle with pieces that can be lost, misplaced or even swapped out over time. Each time you recall a memory, you're not simply hitting play on a recording, you're actively reconstructing it. And just like a game of telephone, each retelling can introduce subtle changes, distortions, or even complete fabrications. The more you access a memory, the more you risk altering it. So, the next time you find yourself reminiscing about the past, remember that you're not just accessing a static record, but actively shaping and reshaping the very fabric of your own personal history. The universe inside your head is just as dynamic and ever-changing as the universe outside. We all know that sleep is essential for our physical and mental well-being, but what exactly is happening inside our brains while we're catching those Zs? Well imagine your brain as a bustling city, a metropolis of neuronal activity, constantly buzzing with thoughts, emotions, and sensory input. Throughout the day, this bustling metropolis generates a lot of waste, metabolic byproducts that, if left unchecked, can interfere with those complex neural processes. That's where sleep comes in acting as the brain's nightly cleaning crew. During sleep, a remarkable process called the glymphatic system kicks into high gear. This intricate network of channels acts like a cerebral sanitation system, flushing out toxins and waste products that have accumulated throughout the day. So, skipping sleep isn't just about feeling tired, it's like skipping a shower for your neurons. And just like a city that neglects its sanitation, a sleep-deprived brain can become a breeding ground for problems, impacting everything from cognitive function to emotional regulation. We spend about a third of our lives asleep, that's a third of our existence spent in a world constructed entirely by our own minds. Now you might think, Neil, that sounds like a colossal waste of time. But consider this. What if I told you that those bizarre, often nonsensical dreams are crucial to our mental well-being? See, while your body rests, your brain is hard at work, sifting through the day's experiences, consolidating memories, and yes, even dreaming. One prevailing theory suggests that dreams act as a sort of emotional garbage disposal, processing and discarding psychological detritus. Deprive someone of sleep and by extension dreams, and you'll witness a rapid decline in their mental state. Think about it, dreams give us a safe space to process anxieties, confront fears, and even rehearse for future challenges, all without the constraints of logic or consequence. So, the next time you wake up from a particularly strange dream, instead of dismissing it, take a moment to ponder its possible meaning. Your subconscious might be trying to tell you something, and if those dreams ever start to bleed into your waking hours, don't fret too much, it's just your brain working overtime. It happens to the best of us, even astrophysicists. We humans are social creatures. We crave connection, interaction, and belonging. But did you know that this innate desire for social interaction is deeply intertwined with the very fabric of our brains? It's true, our brains are wired to sync up with the brains of those around us, a phenomenon known as limbic resonance. Think of it like this. Your brain is a radio transmitter, constantly emitting and receiving signals. When you interact with someone, your brain waves begin to align with theirs, like two radios tuned to the same frequency. This synchronization allows for a seamless exchange of emotions, intentions, and even thoughts. It's why we can often sense the mood of a room, or intuitively understand the feelings of a loved one. Have you ever noticed how certain people just seem to drain your energy, while others leave you feeling energized and alive? That's limbic resonance at work. Some individuals naturally emit positive, uplifting frequencies, while others broadcast negativity and stress. So, choose your company wisely, my friends. Surround yourself with people who resonate at a frequency that uplifts and inspires you. Your brain will thank you for it.
So there you have it, folks. 13 secrets of the most complex structure in the known universe, your brain. We've journeyed from the depths of your subconscious to the outer reaches of social interaction, and I hope you've come to appreciate the sheer awesomeness of this three-pound organ we call the brain. Which secret blew your mind the most, or did your brain already forget half of them? Let us know in the comments. And while you're at it, hit that like button if your brain learned something new today. Subscribe for more mind-blowing science every week, and be sure to share this video with a friend. You might just sink your brains in the process. Until next time, keep those neurons firing.